So the second thing that really helped me when I was learning pandas was to understand the role of index. So index is basically the column name for your rows or your data points. So each row is a data point and every row or every data point has a specifier called an index. So this is basically, you know, for every column or every series object, you have a name, which also is the column name and every row coincidentally, you also have a number, but you can change this. This is pre assigned. You can change your uh, index. So for example, I can say users set index to age, and then it will actually make the age the index. And when I want to reach a certain data point with a certain index, then I can say, give me all the rows with the index 23 and it will give it to me. But like, as you can see, the index doesn't have to be uh, unique. It can be to uh, there are two in this index values that are the same, which is not true for the columns. Um, but OK, we have indexes. Well, how does that affect my life? So normally index doesn't really affect your life so much, but there could be a couple of cases where it might mess things up for you. So it's important to know how they work. So basically, let me show you this. I can sort my user's data frame doing this sort values based on, let's say, age. And I'm going to do it in place so that it actually changes, sorts the values. OK, it sorted the values from uh, smallest age to the greatest age. But as you can see now, the index is all messed up because it was specifying the data point and now the data points position changed and the index went with it. And OK, let's say I sorted the values. You know, this still doesn't hurt me. I don't really care if I'm not using the indexes. It doesn't really hurt me. But what if I do this? I want to plot the age. And I get the weirdest plot in the world. What? No way you can actually read this. And the problem is for the X value, it takes the index. So it says three corresponds to 18 and then zero corresponds to 23. And that's why you have this exactly weird plot. Of course, you can not use the index as a plotting device, but you know, sometimes you just want to plot things really quickly. And when you want to do that, you want to make sure that your index is in order. And how you can do that is uh, after you do an action that changes the positions of the index, you can say users. Reset index and it will reset the index for you so that if you want to plot it at the end, let me just put say that this is also again in place. Your plot again looks normal. <laughs> you can see all the ages in, a, in the given order. As you can see with the reset index, I created an extra column here called index, but that's not the index. Just just saying this used to be the index. This is the old index, as you can see here. It just doesn't want to lose it. So if you want, you can just drop that from the your data frame. This has been Panda Secrets that will make your life easier as a beginner. But if you're interested in learning about the functions of pandas and how they're used, go ahead and check out my pandas common functions cheat sheet. There I have definitions on, you know, on functions that will deal with missing values or deal with duplicates, or you can learn how you can change the values of the data frame. So I'll give you the definitions and the functions and also some extra tips and tricks that I don't talk about here. So go ahead and check that out. I will make sure to leave a link in the description of this video.